And as we... Prior to this, in the air, we, we practiced this landing as if we were landing the runway, and we'd go through all these things. So all, all of it was planned and rehearsed. When we landed, we did it. And I raised the gear, like I said, and it, it went through that unlocked position and went down a tad more, and then it came up and the gear folded. We went down to the center to the foam, and like I said, the clamp, the relief tubes were scraped off, the skin was scraped off, but no buckling of any of the framework or the clamshell doors. Wow. 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 Well, didn't you say that when you came down on the front wheels, they did something you didn't expect them to do? They, remember you said they, uh, you didn't expect them to, uh, to do something the front no. wheels? I, I think we were talking about this. I didn't know the aircraft was going to go down a little further when the wing was going down because it is going through this, that elbow. It had to go down a little bit more before the gear folded. Right, okay. And so you didn't expect that? I wasn't expecting that. Right, okay. Well, I part... didn't think about that happening, that it was going to go down. And that's why it, it just it went down a little bit and then could I, hey, something. I, was, I thought about it. And, I, and it, as it happened, I knew exactly why it did it. Did that, yeah. Right. Well, and, <clears throat> and as we were going down through the foam, I'm going to get to the camera guy here in a minute. Oh, well, good. Wait I was going to show the movie. You That's know. my favorite part. Okay. <laughs> uh, as we're coming to a stop, Cedar helped me shut down the engines with the emission control to shut off the gas of the engine, turned off the mag switches, and did all that stuff. And, uh... But y'all are jumping out there like hell, aren't you? Are you coming well, to Well, we're still, we're still, we're still going down through the oh, foam. Oh, okay. Before okay. we, we're getting all the engines shut down to guard against fire. Right, okay. So you're doing all this and still moving. <laughs> and... And uh, we're still moving down through the foam. As we come to a stop, we come out of the seats and we evacuate the airplane. Rayburn, the loadmaster, we had him up front, sitting. We didn't have any navigator. He's sitting in the nav seat, strapped in. And they had extra strapping on them because they didn't have any shoulder harness like the pilots did. They had extra, uh, we had straps for strapping down the cargo. We had straps on them to keep them from, if the airplane did any sudden stopping or, or cartwheeling and that sort of thing going on. Uh -huh. That's what I kept expecting when I saw the video, it's a cartwheel. Yeah. 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 And that was the purpose of folding this other gear, so we're just going down through the foam on the nose gear. And I still had some nose steering while it's going down through the, because the engine still had a little bit of hydraulic pressure, and the putt putt was on, the, the auxiliary power plant, and it gave electric hydraulics to the, to the, uh, to the, no steering in the brakes and that sort of thing. Well, didn't somebody say you landed that plane on its belly without a spark? It sparked as we entered the foam. As you entered the foam? But after the foam, it didn't spark at all. Spark at all? Wow. Didn't spark at all. If we had left the foam on a dry paper, dry, if that the clamshells, that's scraping on the runway, it would have sparked. And also I seem to remember something about, they said that's the first time a 119 has ever been successfully landed on its belly? No, there was one other here at Carswell, at, over at Duncanville. Before you? Yeah, that happened up here. Before you did it? Before I did it. Oh, okay. So you were the second and, one. 
And I don't remember whether they pinned the nose gear down. I think they did. Well, did he did he uh, land without much damage to his airplane like you did? I think there was more damage to it because he had a harder landing. Had a harder landing? I, he wasn't a smooth landing like we did. Okay, okay. All right. He had more damage to the aircraft. I think, I think the clamshell doors came off because any... <laughs> Any hard landing, the <laughs> clamshell doors were just sitting on pins. Any any uh, crushing of the clamshell doors, it raises off the pins, and they went away from the airplane. The clamshells, I think, on his landing came off. Okay. Clamshell, mine didn't. So them first. Is it time for the video? Let's do this. Uh, yeah, we're, we're we're coming to the shop and we evacuated the airplane. Them first. Them. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's not time to show this yet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Now, um, there's some new people, and they didn't hear everything. You had called and told them you wanted your, somebody videoing, right? Okay. And you had said you wanted um, the runway foam. So this is the video Stand up. Yeah, there you go. of the landing. It's only a, less than a minute, so don't blink your eye. You won't see it. Yeah. Okay, now that's the uh, runway being foamed. You can't see it, Dad. I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, and there's an ambulance following the truck. And a helicopter in the air. Right, but yeah, but now you're coming in. You're landing, okay. You're on the ground. And there's the helicopter up there, helicopter. You're landing, okay, and you're still going down the runway. The wing starts to lower, and that's when I raise the gear. Right, I think we're, traction. yeah. What was the stall speed on that plane? Just below 100 knots. Which okay, now get, wait a minute. Get ready, we're going to, they're going to show the fire truck in just one minute. I wish you could see the video. Okay. All right. Now there's. It says the end. Okay. Why did it end so abruptly? The <laughs> the fire truck stopped abruptly. He fell off the fire truck. And <laughs> the cameraman. Yeah, the cameraman camera fell, off the, fell fire off, off the fire truck. What? <laughs> what a... And the camera stopped. You didn't show us evacuating the airplane or anything. Wasn't that the only injury? <laughs> didn't he get yeah, scraped the, up or something? He was the only injury. Fall, he, he fell <laughs> off the fire truck. <laughs> yeah, he was the only injury. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show uh, them now. The guy okay. filming it was the only That's the injury. Biggest surprise of all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, here comes the video for you periscopers. Okay, that's the uh, runway being foamed. Here, I'll turn it again so they can see it again. Okay. And the ambulance behind it. There's no helicopter yet, Dad. Okay, now here's Dad coming in. And he, see the wingtip? But he straightened, oh, went down low. And then he got it back up, never did hit. There's the helicopter. Well, the, the emergency retraction of the gear was what brought the other wing down. Oh, yeah? Okay. The emergency retraction that I used to fold the right gear, and that's what brought the airplane down to, to a level to a level. Again. Right. Level position. Yeah, when I saw it going to the left there, I said, oh, it's going to cartwheel. <laughs> and he's coming to a stop. Now, they don't even, that cameraman uh, fell off before y'all could even get the... Um, get off the plane or anything. Before they could get off the plane or anything. Yeah, yeah. didn't, show, the, it was so didn't short. show our evacuation of the airplane. <laughs> well, he was on the ground injured. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, Paula, now you're going to show it to the... Just hit go when you're ready. You know, the, the, the triangle. Okay. Right there. That's the go. Let's see. Uh, Dad... Uh, porn producer said thanks for your service. Did you say porn producer? Thank you for saying so. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah said that's awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, awesome landing. Thank you, A1 Mega. 
um, dad, uh, oh, I don't know if we can see it on there now. What was the tail? I'm going to see if I can see. It won't stay focused. When you turn it in a different way, it doesn't? Mm -mm. I'll the go out for Large numbers go out on further. the nose of the airplane right shows the um, last three numbers of the serial Doing it like number. this? I mean, no. Back or forward. So sometimes that helps. Okay. Ah. Uh, Signal shifter. What was it you wanted to know? The uh, to look it up. What was the? Uh, what did you want to know about? I don't remember what. No, I, I, I know. I'm talking to oh. somebody that asked a question. He wanted to know what the number on your uh, wing, your tail number. The last three numbers on the serial number of the airplane was 574, and that's written on the forward part of the airplane. 574 was the last three, num three numbers. 574? Oh, the tail number of the C-119. The tail number, the last three numbers was 574. 574, and then somebody else... Uh, I don't yeah, remember we, the we, rest of the numbers. We talked about the stall speed. Was 100 miles an hour stall speed? 100 knots, knots. not miles an hour. Just, oh, 100 just knots. Below 100 knots, depending on the gross weight, of, gross weight of the airplane. Now, if somebody wants to know where you got your cup, you wanted to get his dad one <laughs> for Father's Day, okay? Get what? Your cup. He wants oh, you want to get that Walgreens. At Walgreens, he went down to the photo <laughs> department and told the girl there what he wanted on it. Young girl. <coughs> young girl. Are you sure you want to know this, what I want on the cup? <laughs> or should I tell somebody else? Right. Okay. How long were they in the air before landing? How long were you in the air? from Over the... six hours. Over six hours. Okay. Burning off excess fuel. What is 100 knots equal to in miles per hour? Uh, 100 knots, well, 87 is 100 miles an hour. 87 knots is 100 miles an hour. Okay. So it's just above 100, about 15 knots. Okay, all right. 15 miles, 15 knots is, gets it up to miles an hour. Okay. So it's in the low uh, 110, 115, depending on the gross weight as a stall speed. Okay, all righty. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then we got into before. operations. They immediately gave us a shot of booze. Oh, they did? Did they really? <laughs> when you got into operations? Yeah, that's, that's customary. In every accident, you give the pilot a shot of booze. The pilot or the whole crew? Well, a fighter airplane, they give the pilot a shot of booze. They gave us all a shot of booze. They gave you all a shot? Did they fix the plane up and reuse it? Refly it? No. No. They class 26, it meaning they they uh, totaled it. Uh, they, uh, they even though there wasn't that much damage. If they'd, if they'd have put the gear down, I'd have flown it home. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if they'd have got the gear down, I'd have, I'd have flown it home. They had to gas it up a little bit, and then yeah. I'd have flown it home. Sarah wants to know what they gave me to drink. A shot of what? I don't even know. You don't know? It was boot, whiskey. Whiskey? It was bourbon. Now, um, and she straight said she booze. believed you'd have flown it home. Just <laughs> straight booze. <laughs> yeah. And then I'd have flown the airplane home. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sarah so, says so she believes that. She believes you would have. <laughs> now, um. That's one thing I've never done. I've never flown the airplane drunk or even with any drinking. Drinking, see? Now, I only I have that. a short. You, they, the saying is. Eight hours of sleep between the bottle and the throttle. All really? Right. <laughs> eight hours of sleep before the bottle. Before the bottle. Bef between. 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 Between the bottle and the throttle. And, and what's your shortest amount of hours between the bottle and the throttle? Uh, 
I was airborne at five o'clock in the morning several times, and I was at the club drinking till midnight. Ah. So five hours. Thank you, Brain. Dad, uh, uh, Bring Back Badly says this man is brilliant. So. Yeah, I know he is. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't spread that word around. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. might take away my retirement. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, okay, let's see. Uh, someone else wanted to ask you. Okay, how did you get to operations? Who who drove you back? Kelly and them? Or, uh, you know, when you got off the plane, who drove you back to operations? I think we got on Kelly's airplane and, mm -hmm. and we flew back to the Alvin Keller. Oh, is that where you got your shot of whiskey at Alvin Keller? No, I got no, right, that at Brooklyn. Planted. At Brooklyn, right. Well, who when, took when you? When they were talking to me, the flight safety officer, he had, had to make his report and all that. He was briefing, debriefing us. And <laughs> but I mean, how did you get up there? He had the shot of booze there, which is customary. Okay, now how did you get up there? Did an ambulance bring y'all up, check y'all out? Or? A crew cab. A crew cab? Uh, the crew cab that drives the crews back and forth between the airplane and, and base operations. Did did, did y'all get checked out by EMTs or anything? No. No? It no. wasn't that type of base. Oh, <clears> yeah, but they had an ambulance up there. If it was a sack base, They'd have checked IDs and all that sort of, sort of thing. There was no crash. Yeah, so I guess they but I mean, they didn't check you to make sure you were medically okay, that you had no injuries or nothing? The flight surgeon was there, as I recall, and he looked us over and everything, but he didn't do any any uh, physical. Okay, all right. It was we, pretty we, much a smooth landing, right? Yeah, so you really we did. were all in perfect. We were, they no were probably injuries. working on the cameraman. <laughs> yeah, right. They were working yeah, they on were the cameraman. The camera guy that <laughs> fell off the fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, okay. Um, and then, how long were you there after the crash? Hour and a half or so. No, he isn't, Bree. An hour and a half or so, and then you flew back with Kelly and them, huh? Kelly and them. Too. We flew back in that aircraft to, to the Naval Air Station. Yeah. At okay. New Orleans. <laughs> and who was there to greet you? Oh, did you talk to the general that flew in? Oh yeah, he was there and he was there in the base operations and we talked and And he flew in just to watch you land, didn't he? Well he being a the wing commander, he figured he ought to be there since with this emergency. Right. That was that was to show that he was there. Right. He okay. couldn't be off bowling or, or drinking at the bar. <laughs> Playing golf. And I'm, I'm in, got an bowling. emergency. Right, right. <laughs> okay, and then what happened when you got back to Alvin Calendar? Was there a big welcoming committee or anything? No, everybody had gone home. Everybody had gone home? You just went into no yeah, pomp and circumstances. This is, this is 5.30 and we didn't get there till after 9 o'clock. At night? Yeah. It was going on 10 o'clock when we got to Alvin Calendar. Really? But it still seems like people would have been there to, to no, walk. I mean, you only get the attention if you crash. We had everybody yeah. there except in the other airplanes that had a reason to be there. Oh, yeah? And there was a lot of a lot of the crew members. They were on lookers, you know, and everything. Right, right. And <laughs> Andy, Andy Chaplin was there. Now, the base operations officer. When we had our, your our base operations right. Officer. When we had your fiftieth um, wedding anniversary, and you were already retired for a long time, Andy Chaplin came in from California, didn't he? Uh -huh. Did Colonel Kelly come in? No, he couldn't come. He couldn't come. He wanted to. I don't to. remember the reason now, but anyway, he was in Panama City, Florida, and he was having some kind of physical type problems, maybe heart problem or something like that. Yeah. He couldn't be there. And But Andy Chaplin, his commander, um, well, Kelly was the commander. What was Andy Chaplin? He was the ops officer, operations officer, ops officer we called and him. And he, he flew in to Brooklyn. Yeah, he was there at Brooklyn. Right, to, to see this. And he came... We, he and Laney came in. We had a bunch of his 
uh, Air Force buddies came uh, to the 50th, to and the he 50th. was shocked. There was people from all over the United States there. Yes. Not just, not just my family members. All the people from New Orleans was there. Even Margie didn't come. Right. Tell her. Margie told her she didn't come. Uh, but some unusual people were there that I thought I'd never see before. Never uh, see again. Again, yeah. John Laney and his wife. Yeah. It was a great Bill surprise Ruffin. there. Yeah. Bill Ruffin. Uh, Odie Tucker right. was there. Yeah. Uh, Donald Hill wanted to make it, but he couldn't. Every time he turned around, it, it, somebody Someone else would, would show up. Yeah. yeah. The main problem with that sort of thing is there's so many people there, you had to can't Thank spend time it. with one person that you yeah, wanted yeah. to spend time with. You had to get around to everybody. Yeah. That's the problem. That's the same with that. The 90th, 90th birthday, birthday party? There were so many people there. I couldn't give anybody yeah, proper attention. Yeah, that is wonderful. <laughs> this guy said my granddad was in World War II. He's 90 and still living. Is he? Yeah, so that's awesome. Does yeah. he still drink beer? Does he still drink <laughs> beer, Mr. Jordan? And what branch was he in? Oh, he says, I don't know. Does he still drive his car or buy a new car every year? <laughs> <laughs> so... I still, I still drive my car. Yeah, he drives. I still have a driver's license. Yeah, he drives. I his... drive anywhere I want to go. I can drive better, th as good as anybody on the highway, and better than most. <laughs> Will your He's... next car be pink? And pink and white? The other little pink <laughs> car you used to have? <laughs> pink and white. He said his daddy still drives. He still drives? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really awesome that you are blessed like we are. Mr. Jordan. I'm the designated drinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dad drinks beer every day and every night. Sir, you are amazing. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you, Trumpeteer. He said that That to was you. to you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, now, okay, so we've been through this. You survived it. Uh, didn't they use that film as a as a training film for a long time? Yeah. Yeah, they used that film of him landing for a, as a training film for a long time. They may still, for all I know. But now let's talk about, uh, kind of rush along. When did you go to the 130? This was in January of 1970. And were you when living... I went to Ellington Air Force Base, which was the school for the C-130, reserve school, C-130, I had an instructor pilot, which was in the Alamo, in the uh, Houston wing at Ellington. His name was, his name was Wing. Wing? Wing. <laughs> Someone wants to know if you miss chrome bumpers. Do you miss the chrome bumpers on what, cars? Cars, I guess, I guess yeah, so. cars. I had it on the pink and white Ford. <laughs> I had chrome bumpers. <laughs> but do you miss? I put... Do you miss, you miss them, though? not having chrome nowadays? Uh, Do you miss having just dull bumpers without chrome nowadays? Because you can't buy cars with chrome bumpers now. Yeah, there's no bumpers on the car. So yeah. there's, there's, a, there's a plastic thing oh, across Do you miss bumper. having cro uh, the chrome bumpers? I didn't, We're I didn't uh, seem to bother me that there wasn't any bumper. Okay. Didn't seem to bother me. Okay, now Dad's going to go to the 130s. And you were here when you went to the 130s? Here, where? I mean, here. In uh, Belchase? Yes. You were in Belchase. Here's I was, the 130s. I was in 130s at... And show I it. was in 130s at Alvin Callender Field, Naval Air Station. So that's what you're flying now? From at, 70 to, to 70, the end of 73, which is four years. That's the 130, and that is Dad right there. Okay. Okay, that's him. And then, this is in the cockpit. Now, he's not flying right now. He's just, they're giving him an honorary tour. Okay. Is that, is that when I flew with the brand new C-130 to, 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 to the Naval Air Station? New? I don't know. I'll show you the picture in a minute, and then you can... 
kind of tilt it back a little bit and that no yeah kind of like that and you can get it to come in or there see got a little mm -hmm. bit better there's yeah. gramps in the tan coat. jumper suit no it's a coat coat yeah <laughs> what picture y'all looking at i want to show you in just a second and that's the cockpit of the 130. Okay, Dad. And then slide it across, and you might remember more. Slide the picture. Yeah, that that oh. that airplane came from uh, uh, Keesler Air Force Base. That's the weather ship that flies through hurricanes and all that stuff. Oh. This is a J model C-130, but I don't see the five blades. Well, there's five, oh. right, there's five, there's, there's six blades on that airplane, and they're curved. The blades are curved. I don't know the purpose of that, but they're curved. And maybe that's because they, so the ends don't go supersonic on the prop, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That maybe that length is so to keep the the curve kept the blade under subsonic above the speed of sonic is above the speed of sound. Okay. Subsonic is below the speed of sound. Well where were Up you in going? The cockpit, okay. That is a totally different cockpit. It had computer screens out in front of you. About the that's it. That's the computer screens, and you can, you can, through toggle switches or what they have there, he can call up whatever he wants on that screen. He can get his instrument, engine instruments on that screen, or he can get the a navigation map of go, flying uh, from one station to the next, or he can get his flight instruments on there, which, which he has all the time. In flight, in flying the aircraft, he has a flight instruments up there. They have HUD in the airplane. HUD, mm -hmm. yeah. that's heads up display. I've got HUD in the Lexus out there. <laughs> in your car, in, in your Lexus. Where, 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 where the speed and everything shows <coughs> in the windshield. Mm -hmm. yeah. This has all the flight instruments in the HUD. Your artificial horizon, your speed, and your uh, level flight, or or descending, or 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 climbing. Let me show these people that pictures. If you you can't see the hood in the picture. Right. Okay, I'm just going to show. Them. This is the 130. J model. Can you see it in there? Uh, no. Yeah. J model. This is the one that flies into hurricanes, right? Yeah, it's at Keys from Keesler Air Force Base. Okay, and then this is the... Uh, where were you going here, Dad? We got on the aircraft here at Old Carswell, which is a naval, Fort Worth Naval Air Station now. Mm -hmm. And that was a space A flight for me to go to New Orleans. We were at, for we went to New Orleans for some reason. Oh, the I don't know whether I'm getting it mixed up with something else or not. That was the fiftieth anniversary of the or the closing of of Alvin Calendar Field from the Air Force. Or we or we went to. See, just to visit the, our our kin folks there in New Orleans, or Dave and Lynn, and all that sort of thing. Oh, okay. This is something I forgot to show. This is the headlines of the paper after the landing of the one nineteen. It keeps yeah. turning on me. Okay. I, I don't remember where to go lock it. You're not gonna. If I could didn't do it, you didn't. You can't do it. Oh, gee. <laughs> okay, hang on. It There's a place through. to go lock it. I 
Okay. Is that of a, a crash landing at Yeah, I forgot Brooklyn? to put that. Showing it's, all the crew, including me? Right. Nope. <laughs> yeah. well, at least I got it upright for something. For a little while, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, show it to um, that. Now you're going to have to get it upright. Now i got to do it again. But if you can't do it, I can't do it. No, you can't get it to go sideways. Hang on, Gramps. Before this runs out of film, I get to run over there and give you a big kiss on the cheek, okay? Okay. Tilt it a little bit so they can read it backwards. Yeah. I think that's as good yeah, as Yeah, that I'm... one we can, uh, like I say, that one we can uh, pause. Okay, here is the front page after it happened. Six hours aloft, jam gear gear fails to ruffle. Calendar crew, 119 lands okay. Now. That was a, a unit newspaper there at Alvin Calendar Field. Right. Okay, before this runs out. Here's a better picture I'm of the crew. Do this. Give me cheek. I love you, Gramps. I love you, girl. <laughs> Sophia. 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 Okay, can, oh, do I have it in there right? Can they see it? Is it? That's the better picture of the whole crew, but it just cuts out the... No, that, that's a good shot. Okay. And then try to put it on that one, too. Hi. I think right after that, or before that, I don't remember, we had our two weeks tour in Alaska. Oh, did you? Yeah, you know, flew, flew to Alaska and see one. Almost looks like mug shots. When they <laughs> I know, that's what everybody said. That's what Cookie said. Looks like a bunch of... Criminals. Uh, yeah. Tilted back. Instead of heroes. Remember, back. Yeah, I keep doing that. Well, it's not tilted back very much. I'm looking at you. It's not blurry anymore. Okay. Dad is the first one to the uh, left on the top. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we're going to uh, 130s. Okay. All right. You, um, you're you in Bell Chase. Why are they retiring the 119? We just changed it to a newer airplane. A newer airplane? For the reserve unit, 130 is a newer airplane, even though for the active military, those airplanes that we were getting, when the Air Force is through with them, that's when the reserve gets them. <laughs> okay. Reserve, okay. <laughs> reserve 